The tonic labyrinthine reflex. Wow, that's a mouthful. It sure is. So we call it the TLR. Much easier. When babies are born, they have a reflex that when their head goes down to their chin, their arms and their knees bend. So it puts them in a curled position. When they're lying on their backs and their head goes back, then their arms and their legs extend and they straighten out. And this enables our babies and their brains to feel movement automatically. So if you see your little baby, your newborn on their tummy, they'll always usually be curled up in that little ball because that's because their head is down. And it's a beautiful survival reflex, isn't it? Because it, it actually allows for a passage of air when babies are on their tummy to go through. Exactly. Yes, yeah, so survival, but also very important for teaching them the difference between flexion and extension. Exactly. Well, I suppose firstly, how do babies learn to control this reflex? Lots of tummy time is the most important thing for learning to control the TLR. When you're lying on your tummy, you're lifting your head up and down. Initially, it's very hard work for a baby. And one of the reasons is because the reflexes are in control still. But the baby gradually learns muscle strength and control and lifts their head up, head up and down voluntarily. And that helps to override the impact of the TLR. There are problems though if babies don't learn to properly or if babies and children don't learn to properly control the reflex. Yes, if they're not able to control that reflex, then they won't be able to move forward on their tummies and creep on their hands and knees. It also means when they're a little bit older that they can have a locked-in extension to their body a little bit in some children, and so they become tiptoe walkers. And they, it's not as easy for them to gain really smooth, coordinated control of their bodies. So they find sporting activities more challenging. It can also have a little bit of an effect in the classroom because when they put their head down to look at their books, their body wants to collapse underneath them. So it makes learning more difficult because they haven't got the control, the automatic control of their body that they need to be able to concentrate and listen mm. and learn. And the last thing we want to do is, is make learning mm. more difficult for, for our children. So tummy time, tummy time. Thank you.